rewind to the days done. What's up, guys? Musical Mind Frame with A1 Music Productions bringing you another FL Studio 12 tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to manually install VST plugins into FL Studio in case any of you have been having trouble with that because I know I did when I first encountered it. So first, I'll head off to my favorite free plugin website, bedroomproducersblog.com. And I believe there was a new plugin available. Yes, a sidechain compressor. Always a useful tool. Let's see if it's worth anything. You got to give free plugins a trial run, but there's a lot of great ones out there. A lot of the plugins I use are free. You don't got to have a lot of money to get the tools you need. Uh, So you'll have to submit your email and do all this. But I had already done this. So I will just go to my downloads folder. And here it is. And since I have Windows, that is the one I will use. And here are the files. So it doesn't have the application program to install it for you. It doesn't have the self-install engine. So this is the typical plugin. This is the VST3 version. So what you'll do with this is in your whatever folder you've created for your VST plugins, I have a separate one. My program files. So my 64-bit are all right here. If you put yours directly into FL Studio, then it'll be under the image line folder. And plugins. And you could put them in here. But I like to keep a separate VST plugins folder. So you will click on your plugins folder and you will literally just drag and drop or copy and paste it in there. And I've already put this in here. But if I were to do it again, just copy and paste. But as you can see, I have it right here. And after you do that, and you want to put the VST3 one in your VST3 folder. I usually just go to common files. That's where mine was automatically created. I have it right there. So then you will go to your FL Studio, Options, and Manage Plugins. And you will do a search. And I recently did this. And when a plugin is successfully installed, it will be in this list. And when it is recently installed will be highlighted yellow so it successfully recognized it and added it to my plugins so now when I come into my plugin list in the browser it's under my new ones and it's now ready to be used and that is how you manually install VST plugins if you have any trouble, have any questions, leave them in the comments. As always, subscribe to the channel, A1 Music Productions, and uh, check out the new Facebook group, uh, FL Studio Guru Tutorials. And have a nice day. Peace.